Many-to-many -many relations in SQL databases has always been tricky, especially with Drizzle ORM. But in this video, you will master them. This is Sakura Dev channel, and welcome back to Drizzle ORM comprehensive course. But before moving forward, make sure to subscribe for more insights and updates about Drizzle ORM. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is our scenario. We have the post table and categories table. Each post inside the post table can be related to multiple categories. For example, a post about the Drizzle ORM can be related to two categories that can be ORM and database. And in the same time, each category inside the categories table can be related to multiple posts inside the post table. So now let me show you a practical example. We have something like this. We have a post table in which we have post 1 and post 2 and then we have categories table in which we have cat 1 and cat 2 so post 1 have two category cat 1 and cat 2 and this is the case for the post 2 as well post 2 has two category cat 1 and cat 2 so if you look at the categories table you can see that cat 1 is related to the post 1 and post 2 and also cat 2 is related to the post 1 and post 2 so this is a typical example of the many to many relationship between the post table and categories table. But implementing such a relationship in relational databases can be tricky. We can't directly connect these two tables with many to many relationship in relational databases. We have to create a join table which sits between these two table just like this and then each of our main table which are post and categories have a one to many relation to the join table. So here our join table is post category. As you can see we have a one to many relationship between the post table and post categories and in the same time we have a one to many relationship between the categories table and post categories. So for example consider the post one which has two related records inside the post category categories and this is the case for the post 2. So in this way we can say that post 1 is related to the category 1 and also category 2 and here post 2 is related to the category 1 and category 2. And if we consider the categories we can say that the cat 1 is related to the post 1 and also here related to the post 2. And this is the case for the cat 2. Here cat 2 is related to the post 1 and also here is related to the post 2. So in this way we can implement a many to many relation between the post and categories table by creating a join table that sits between our two tables. So we are actually breaking down the many to many relationship into two one to many relationships. So now let's implementing this many to many relationship between the post and categories table with Drizzle RM. Okay, I open up our project and I go to the schema.ts file and as you can see we have a post table here which has an ID, text and author ID inside it. So as a first step we need to create our categories table. So here I'm going to say export const categories and set it to PG table. Okay, choose a name inside the Postgres database. I'm going to go ahead with the categories and then let's define the fields inside it. So the first one is ID which is going to be a serial. Okay. And let's set it to the primary key of the table. And then we just need to add a name field inside it, which is going to be a varchar. And let's set its length to 256 characters. Okay. So we have the categories and post table. And now we should create our join table. So here after the categories, I'm going to create our join table. So here I'm going to say export const post on categories okay and set it to pg table and here let's name it post underscore categories inside the postgres table okay and let's define its field the first one is a foreign key which references the post id so here i'm going to say post id and set it to an integer okay let's name it post underscore id and chain the not null function and then chain the references function since it's a foreign key and then put a callback here which returns the post dot id okay 
So this is our first foreign key. And then we need to create another foreign key here, which references to the ID of the categories table. So here I'm going to say category ID, okay, and set it to again an integer. Since the category ID is serial, we should choose the integer here. And let's name it to category underscore ID, and then chain the not null function, and then references function, put our callbacks, which returns the categories dot ID. So that's it. We have created our join table. We have our our two main table post in categories and the join table which is post on categories and the next step is to create the relations with the relations function so let's start with the post relations we have created post relations in the previous section so we just need to add a many relation to the post relations here we grab the function many okay and here I'm going to say post categories okay and set it to many function and we just need to pass our join function here post on categories so again note that here we shouldn't directly connect our post category to the categories table we should connect it to the join table okay and then we need to do the same with the categories table so here i'm going to export a categories relation i'm going to say export const category relations okay and set it to relations function we need to specify that these relations belong to which table so we pass the categories here and then we need to pass in callback function which returns an object so i put a parenthesis here and inside it we put a curly braces which is an empty object for now so since we are going to create a one too many relation from categories table to post on categories table we should grab the many function here so so one category is related to many records inside the post on categories table so we just grab the many function here and then here inside the returning object i'm going to say post and set it to many function okay and just pass the post on categories that's it and as a last step we just need to define the relations for the post on categories so here i'm going to say export const post on categories relations okay and set it to relations function and specify the post on categories here because we are going to define these relations for the post on categories and then we pass our callback function here which returns the relations object okay remember that the relations from the post and categories to this post on categories table our join table are one too many it means that the relations from the post on categories to our two main table post and categories are many to one so here we just need to grab the one function and here first i'm going to create a relation to post table so here i'm going to say post and set it to one function and pass the post table okay and then pass an object and inside that object first specify the fields which is a list and we should specify the post id inside the post on categories so i'm going to say post on categories dot post id and this post id will references on the post dot id okay so here we specify the references list here and put the posts dot id here so that's it we are saying that post id inside the post on categories table will references to the id field inside the post table and we are going to do the same with the categories table so here i'm going to say category and set it to one function okay specify the categories here and specify fields inside this object which will be post on categories dot category id okay and then we need to define the references okay and inside it we just have to put the categories dot id okay so we have created the post on categories relations and as a last step we should create a primary key for the post on categories table or join table we can create an id field and set it to a serial but the better option is to set the combination of the post id and category id as the primary key of this table so here in order to do that after the object that defines the fields inside our table we pass in callback function which takes the t which refers to the post on categories table and then it returns an object okay so i put a parenthesis here an empty object and then we are going to define a pk which stands for the primary key 
and we should set it to primary key function which comes from the drizzle ORM and then we pass the post ID and category ID so here I'm gonna say T dot post ID and T dot category ID so by doing that we set the combination of the post ID and category ID as the primary key of our join table so that's it we have created our many to many relationships between the post table and category table so now let's go and test it okay so now if I go to the route.ts file our API route here we can see that we have a query on post table so inside the with API now we can access to the post categories and now we can set it to true so it will retrieve the first post along with its author and also all the categories of the post we can do this with the categories table as well so now let me copy that okay and let's change the post to categories so first let's rename the result to result 2 and let's clear the with API here and now we can see that we can access to the post of each category we can just set it to true and it will return the first category along with all posts that have this category inside their category list so now let's run a migration here so I open up the terminal okay I'm gonna say npm run migrate so as you can see it will create the categories table post categories post table and also profiles and user table so as you can see here post categories has two foreign key which the first one references the categories table and the second one references the post table so now I pause the video and insert some test data into these three table categories post categories and post in order to test this many to many relationship okay so I did a seeding process and populate our database with some testing data in the upcoming sections I will teach you how you can do the seeding process so now let me go to the adminer okay so I go to the test DB as you can see we have the categories table post categories post profiles and users so if I go to the categories you can see that we have two categories sport and economics I go to the post table and as you can see we have two posts with the ID 1 and 2 and then select the post categories and as you can see post ID 1 has two category with the ID 1 and 2 and also it is the same with the post ID 2 it has the category with the ID 1 and 2 so now let's go back to our VS code and let's run a query to see what we get as result so let's first comment out the second query and let's run our server okay and let's open up the insomnia client so we can call this api route so first let me save this okay and here i'm gonna send a get request to the slash api slash user and as you can see we have the post with the idea one we have the author object inside it which is actually the user that created that post and also we have the post categories that has two object inside it the first object inside the post category has the category with the idea one and the second one has the category with the ID of two so now let's go back to our VS code and select the name of the category in our query so I go to the VS code and here instead of just setting post categories to true I'm gonna set it to an object and here we can pass a with API again okay and then inside it we can specify the category and then set it to an object again I'm gonna set it to a column and here we can set the name to true we don't want the ID okay and I go back to insomnia again send the request and here as you can see now we have the name of each category inside the post categories of the post the first one is sport and the second one is economics so now let's go back to VS code and remove the post ID and category ID of the post categories so I go back to VS code and here inside the post categories we specify the columns okay and set it to an object put a comma here and set the category ID to false and also post ID to false as well so let's save this and go back to our insomnia click on the send and as you can see the category object just has the name of the category so if we want the ID of the category we go to the VS code and here inside the column of the category object we just set the ID to true okay I go back to insomnia send the request and now we can see that the first 
first category has the ID 1 and the second category has the ID 2. So yeah, in this way we can select a record inside a table which has a many-to-many -many relation with other table. And in the upcoming section, I will teach you how you can insert your data into your tables. And it's just not a simple insert statement. I will teach you how you can insert your data into a table that has a one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many relationship with other tables. So stay tuned for my next video and have a nice time. Bye-bye.